Well, you know, just the last 10, 12 games, you know, I already put in my head that, you know, if Kevin's going to come back or if he don't, we got to be prepared uh, just mentally for it. Uh, and that's the way I approach these games, you know, coming down to the season. But, uh, I mean, it, 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 you know, you feel bad for a guy who wants to be out there, wants to help his teammates uh, in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, I know it's hurting him more than it's hurting us. No, I just saw him just now. I haven't had a chance to sit down and talk to him, but, uh, you know, I'm sure, you know, he's, he's, he's down right now. Is it in any way easier knowing you'll be without him rather than wondering when he's coming back? Well, probably so. You know, I mean, you know, now the guys know that he's probably not going to play. Uh, you know, we got to move forward with what we got. I mean, our guys uh, just got to be ready to step up. Uh, and that's about it. You know, we've been playing with them for a while, so we know we're, we're still a very good team and we're still capable of winning the championship. Paul, there's a lot of doubters out there. How do you look at this challenge now as a group? Well, it's always going to be doubters. That's something we don't really worry about. We know we got in this room. We know we we do when we playing well. And uh, that's all that really matters right now. You know, it's going to be an uphill battle, of course, if, uh, not having Kevin. Uh, but, you know, that's that's how we like it. You like playing that role of underdog and flying under the radar a little bit? Shoot, I've been playing that role my whole life. So, you know, it's nothing new to us.